we can use density as a conversion factor once we actually know the density of a substance. So for example, if I have an unknown liquid that has a density of 1.32 grams per milliliter, what is the volume of this sample of a 14.7 gram sample of the liquid? So I can use this density of 1.32 grams per milliliter to help me find what the volume is in milliliters of this sample. So to do this, I need to determine what equalities I can find in here and use those as conversion factors. Now, you may think there's no equalities going on in here, but we can actually turn density into, a conver into equalities and into a conversion factor because 1.32 grams per milliliter means that for every 1.32 grams of my liquid, I'm going to have exactly one milliliter of that liquid. So I can write this as an equivalence. So I have my equality, one milliliter equal of liquid equals 1.32 grams of liquid. So notice it doesn't matter which side of the equal sign I have my grams on my milliliters. From this, I can create my two conversion factors, just like we've convert, created conversion factors many, many times. So my two conversion factors would be one milliliter liquid for every 1.32 grams liquid, or 1.32 grams of liquid for every one milliliter of liquid. Now that I know my conversion factors, I can use these as a uh, to solve my problem. Just as a reminder, as we work this, the one milliliter portion in the densities here is exact. You're pulling that number out as number one. So let's look how we solve this. We have our 14.7 grams of liquid. I'm going to use one of these two conversion factors as my conversion factor. So I'm going to be multiplying by a fraction again, so just like we did all the conversions. We want to get rid of grams and we want our volume in milliliters. So our answer is going to be in milliliters. Grams on the top of the fraction, so we need the conversion factor that has grams in the bottom of our, of our fraction. So I have one milliliter of liquid for 1.32 grams of liquid. When we calculate this out on our calculator, we get 11.136363, and it keeps going. We don't want to include all that. Remember, we still have to worry about significant figures. Our initial value, 14.7, has one, two, three significant figures. 1.32 also has one, two, three significant figures. So our final answer is going to be rounded to one, two, three significant figures. So I have 11.1 .1 milliliters here. Let's take a look at another example. We have an unknown liquid that has a density of 1.34 grams per milliliter. We measure out 12.78 milliliters of the liquid and we want to know the mass of the liquid. Once again, this is our density. Our 1.34 grams per milliliter. Our volume is 12.78 milliliters. And we're looking for the mass. Mass, remember, is grams. So it helps to pull out the information. Go ahead and write on your problems make notes. Our density can be written as an equivalence, so we have 1.34 grams of liquid equals one milliliter of liquid. We know we have 12.78 milliliters and we want to find the number of grams. 
x's over 1. I'm going to be multiplying by a fraction. Milliliters is on the top here, so we're going to have milliliters on the bottom. We want grams. We have 1.34 grams for every 1 milliliter. We can put this into our calculators. And we get 17.1252 grams. We want to round to proper significant figures. There's 1, 2, 3, 4 in this value. 1, 2, 3 in this value. So we're going to round it to 1, 2, 3 significant figures. So 17.1 grams of liquid is my final answer.